it's time for the war cry. This one for Judah, Benjamin, and Levi. Can't forget about the bros in the North Tribe. Enough said that we serving to the Most High. And it's no lie, on the Most High. We teach the laws in this earth. The Lord touched my mouth, He said, Use His words. He made me a prophet from birth. This work, it ain't for the weak. This earth, it ain't for me. This war ain't carnal but spiritual. For the battle here is not fleshly, not fleshly. but the flesh weak. The flesh so I press so feet on the laws of God, so don't test me. Test and when it's time for war, the bro sounds the horn. I'm like a beast unleashed. You can't tame me. You preachers like cowards. cowards. You ain't rightly dividing the word of truth. You worship the creature instead the creator. Your hour is coming to mutilate you. Oh, true. You washing, you dipped in the blood of the lamb. Gee, golly, goddamn, I don't understand. The test is right, man. Then where is the man who stands in the midst of seven golden lamps? Ain't no time to dance. We pull up our pants. We marry not now, but surely it's here. He who wants wisdom, then please give it near. Put on from the fear. Put on from the fear. The whole armor of God is what we need to wear. All of the lights is like a chandelier. Read Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 46. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder. When these curses come out, we're going to see them on our own people. We're going to see them on y'all. Because the Most High put it on y'all. You so-called blacks and Hispanics and Native Americans, you wonder why you can't thrive? It's because you are cursed people because you refuse to hearken unto the laws of the Most High God. What? And upon thy seed forever. So it's going to be on your seed forever, for generations upon generations, until you get in line. What is it? Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. Cursed shalt thou be in the city. We're in the city. You're cursed. You're killing each other. You're drugged. The woman walking around like harlots. Hey, sister, with the baby, you know what your nationality is? What is it? That's not a nationality. Those are two white men. Isaiah 1 and 3. See, our people, our people don't care, man. They're comfortable in the destruction. They're comfortable in the slave state. But the so-called white man, he give you a little something. Now y'all comfortable. Y'all trusting in him. Read. Isaiah chapter 1, verse 3. The ox knoweth his owner. The ox knoweth his owner. A dumb animal knoweth his owner. But you Israelites don't. Read. And the ass his master's crib. And the jackass his master's crib. But y'all don't know who y'all, where your homeland is. Y'all think it's here. Y'all think it's Africa. Read. But Israel doth not know. But y'all don't know. Y'all don't even know who you are. Go back to Y'all don't even know who you are as a people. And y'all don't even consider it. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 16. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shalt thou be in your field. This is one curse that the Most High God put on us. We was cursed in the field when we was in slavery. We are cursed in the field today when we go to work. What? Last hire, first fire. And if you're the first hire, you get paid less than everybody. What? You get promoted less. It's time for you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to wake up out of sleep. Find out who you really are. Breathe. Cursed shalt thou be in the city, and cursed shalt thou be in the field. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. Cursed shall be the fruit of thy body. Cursed shall be thy basket and thy store. We don't own anything. We can't, when we do get something, we can't hold on to it because it's cursed. Hey, brother, right here, you know what your nationality is? Yes, sir. You know, if somebody come to you and they say, uh, what race are you, what would you say? Did you have a post? You about to move this? You about to move Yes, sir. Say it again. Really wouldn't answer because I don't know exactly what you're trying to tell you. I'm African American or this, that, and the other. I wouldn't answer. Okay, good answer. Will we bring out the curses for you to let you know that it was written in the Bible that we were going to slavery? So the Most High God, the Most High God told us where we would be in the last days. Everything that we went through in history it was written in the Scripture. And I'm gonna go to this. Deuteronomy 28. Start over. Yeah, it's a must, man. Okay, go ahead. 
Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes, which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. All these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Overtake thee. Meaning it's not you can do about it. It's going to be on you. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 29. And thou shalt grow at noonday as the blind gropeth in darkness. So this is what y'all doing right now. You're groping at noonday. You don't know what you're doing. Hey, brother, you know your nationality? You know why we out here? We're trying to show our people our nationality. You think we're from Africa? First of all, brother. No, I just asked that we were from Africa. No, we we were taken from Africa, but we weren't from Africa. We fled into Africa. This is this is like they say Africa is the motherland. This is the motherland. Break it out. Get out. Galatians chapter four, verse twenty-six. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. So Jerusalem is the mother of us all. So give me um Exodus 11 and 7. Because you need to understand something. Just because we have the same complexion as the so-called, well, as the Africans, or the Hamites, the Bible call them, just because we have the same complexion does not mean we're the same people. It's a reason why they saw a specific race of people in, out of Africa. Read that. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. So not a dog move his tongue. That's how God calls, calls the Africans. That's what God calls the other nations. They should not move a tongue, and that should, they should not even speak against us. Read that. Against man or beast. Against man or beast. Now they can't even speak against our pets. That's how great you are as a people. You know what your nationality is, bro? You know you a true, a true Jew of the Bible? Our people don't consider. It's time for y'all to wake up. You, you want to know what your true nationality is? I see you got that, that African line on. You think you're African? You think we from Africa? I'm from America, but I know my ancestors from Africa. So you got um, ancestors are part of the slave trade. Right, yeah. right? Yeah. So you saying you're African just because they took you from Africa? They took my ancestors from Africa. Right, but your ancestors wasn't African. We're going to show you according to the Bible that the Africans and the Israelites, what you are, are the true people of Israel, the chosen people of God. Read that. I'm not chosen. Exodus chapter 11, verse 7. But against any of the children of Israel shall not a dog move his tongue. So the Most High God is calling the Africans dogs. And they should not, with a tongue, meaning they should not speak against us. We're above them. Read that. Against men or beasts. Meaning now they can't even speak against our pets. That's how God calls it. They below us. So you need to understand that he put a difference between us. Why would he say that? Give me um, Job 30 and 30. Because we the same, we, we the same complexion, but we're not the same people. It's written in the scriptures that the Israelites were also a dark race. I know that. Right. So, read that. Job chapter 30, verse 30. My skin is black upon me. His skin was black upon him. He's that you know that he's black. His skin was black upon him. Yeah, I was gonna get that, but I'm letting you know that the Israelites also dealt with people and we fled into Africa from Jerusalem at Roman at um 70 AD when the Romans came and they conquered Jerusalem. Read that. Luke chapter 21. Verse 20. And when ye shall see Jerusalem compassed with armies, then know that the desolation thereof is not. That was that's uh 70 AD. Read that. Then let them which are in Judea flee to the mountain. The mountains he was talking about is Africa, because that's the same place where Joseph and Mary fled with um Christ. If they fled into Africa to hide from King Hurt, right? Right. See. It's, it's, the history is basically our history being white. And you expect the same people that, that raped, murdered, and killed our people and still don't need the day to tell you the truth about who you are, especially if they know that you are above them. 
Read that. Matthew chapter 2 verse 13. And when they were deported, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream, saying, Arise and take the young child and his mother and flee into Egypt. Flee into Egypt. They, that's the same mountain that it's talking about, Egypt. They fled there because they can fit in. If a, if a so-called white man or a red man, which is Esau, the white man today, if they fled into Egypt, they were stuck out, right? He told them to flee into Egypt because they can fit in with the skin color, but they are not the same people. What? Read. Yeah, go to, um, yeah, we're going to go to Deuteronomy 28. Go back to Deuteronomy 28 because we're trying to show our people God gave us signs. He, he put curses on us, but it was also serving signs to let us know who we are in these days. So we got to identify who the Israelites are because you got those so-called people out there on Rice's Town and Park Heights calling themselves the real Jews. We're that not. We are the real Jews according to the scriptures. That's right, right. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 15. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, we will not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, meaning his laws, his statutes, and his commandments. And one commandment is, go to that. You can't, you're not supposed to have your head covered when the scriptures are coming out. You took it off, so I didn't bring it out, but now you, you need to know. Because that's one law that the Most High said we need to keep, is dishonoring him. Read it. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I would have you know that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is the man. That goes to show right there that we're not equal with the woman. Read it. And the head of Christ is God. And that goes to show that Christ and God is not the same. Read. Every man praying or prophesying, having his head covered, dishonoreth his head. So who does it say your head is? Uh, Christ is, and then God is um, here Christ. Right, so it says any man praying or prophesying yeah. with his head covered, dishonor his head. Yeah. Go to um, Revelation 19. I'm, saying, I'm, not, I'm just listening, but I'm not prophesying. You know, what but, I'm saying. I'm just I'm prophesying to you. Right, so in yeah. other words, you're, right now we're in the spirit of prophecy. Yeah. So uh, therefore, in the form, your spirit is kind of prophesying right along with me. So you're listening. I'm listening. It's the same. Read. Revelation chapter 19, speak, verse 10. No. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus. Worship God. For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. So is is is, is we're not like prophesying of, or about Jesus and the testimony and so forth. We're, we're bringing the word out. So it's the spirit of prophecy. So therefore, right now you're dishonoring your head because you're hearing the words of the Most High God. I'm not speaking, but listen to this, okay? The spirit of the prophet is subject to the prophet, right? Read that the spirit again. Of the prophet is subject to the prophet, right? So I'm a prophet, right? Read it. First of all, to be to be a prophet, first of all, you got to be keeping the commandments. You can't just say you walking out here saying you the, you're a prophet. That's not how it works. He told me. Once again. OG, look. No, OG. Me, uh, he told yeah, me. Yeah, give me that. Give me that. He told so, me. you got to, first of all, to be a prophet, you got to know the Most High God. So, how do you know the Most High God? Can I give my testimony how I know? Yeah, uh, you say you're a prophet, right? No, God told me to tell you that I'm a prophet. I don't go tell you I'm a prophet. Okay, 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 okay. You say God say you're a prophet, right? What is the job of a prophet? A prophet. Uh -huh. What is the job of a prophet? A prophet is a spokesperson for God. He speaks the heart of God. So, how would he have spoke to God if he's not keeping the commandment of God? Well, what I'm going to tell you. I mean, you got all these commandments, right? There were 613 laws in the Old Testament. Yes. In the New Testament, there was two laws. Uh -huh. Love the Most High of all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your babies and love yourself. Yeah, show it to me in the Old Testament. Huh? The, the scripture you just quote, show it to me in our Old Testament. I can show you to where it's in the New Testament. But I can show it to you where he's also in our Old Testament. I'm just saying the Old no. You just said he didn't come to the break Ten the Commandments. He came to fulfill what you the just quote is the Ten Commandments. But I'm saying he came to fulfill the law, right? Oh uh, yeah, what law he came to fulfill? The law. The law of the, 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 the Ten So that means adultery, Jesus Christ got away with it. No, for the man. 
No, I'm just okay. talking to you. I'm just no. talking to you. I said he ain't come to break the law. He come to build the law. Okay, so you as a man, so you come. Man. Okay, listen, listen, listen. A man, right? Listen, listen. That's why she and listen, listen, listen. 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 listen
Dutch know you. You are all G. You are all fool. That's who you are. Read. So your mind, but, G. but let thine heart Word up. keep my commandment. This is what God said. Let your mind keep God's commandment, old fool. Read. But let the days and long life this and peace shall they add bro. to thee. No, we He's just a hater. But let the days and long life and peace shall they add to thee. But the laws of God as you have not caught, you have not caught it to be worthy in your eyes. Right? Because you have known that Christianity of America. That's those how Christianity you learn, brother. You have not known you Israelite. You have not known you come from the stock of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You just are all fool in America. Uh, 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 who just walk around here talking about you the prophet of God? You know the prophet is the messengers. You know that's what prophet means. Is you are messenger to something? What messages you bring out to this morning to the people? What messages you bring out to the people? Those are the true prophets. Those are the true prophets, brother. If you wanna be a prophet, you have to repent. You have to learn how to repent first. We. You can't even spell repent. Let not mess. What repent is, brother? Since I cannot spell it, or what we pen me? You walking in the spirit of Give me Acts three and nineteen. Give me Acts three and nineteen. I'm gonna brother. teach you to this morning, OG. I'm gonna teach you. Now, OG, I'm gonna teach high. you this morning, OG. OG, I'm gonna hater. teach you common sense, OG. You, you don't have no sense. I'm gonna teach you common no, sense, OG. Give me me and my head and head, OG. I'm gonna teach you what common sense is, OG. OG, I'm gonna teach you this morning, OG. Give me me and my head and head, OG. I'm gonna teach you what the laws of God tell you about. Oh, yeah. Read. Nehemiah, yeah. Jay, he you. So they read the in the book, in the, word of the, Lord. In the law of God, distinctly. Oh, give them what? And gave the sense. You see that? Oh, Jesus, you don't have no common sense. If you have a form of sense, you would have known that we are the prophet of the Most High God. The whole hair don't mean nothing here. You understand? You have to be seasoned in wisdom and understanding, brother. You That's why your own hair means something. You don't have Read. No our respect. And cause them to understand the reading. You see that? You don't know how to read the Bible as it is written, brother. You understand? That's what you are. You are angry at. You're not angry at us. You're angry at the word of most high God. Because you hate God. You hate everything about God. Read. You don't know me. Now let's go back to uh, uh, Acts 3 19. God know you. Give me the mic. God know you. God know you are all fool. God know that. Read. You Acts exactly chapter 3, verse 19. To give it a repent, ye therefore. That's your problem. You don't want to repent. You want to continue in your five year old man. You don't want to repent. You need to repent. Get your saved. spirit right, brother. Stop, stop being a spirit of homogram. Stop man. looking at things of homogram. Stop, stop following witchcraft. That's what Christianity is about, it's witchcraft. That's what you follow in witchcraft. We. Walking in air. And be converted. You don't even know what the spirit of error means. Because you wouldn't look at yourself knowing that you are all fool. That's the spirit of error. Read. And be converted that your sins oh, man. may be blotted out. You, the, you don't have no word for me to mock. You don't have no word for me to mock. You know why? Because God I know that words. you one of the brother who hit the people. You hate your own kinds. Right. You hate everything about black people. You, you hate everything about Israelite people. You say Read. About you. Because guess what? Guess what? If I love you, I'm going to show you what is right. You don't even know me, nigga. You see that? You see that? You see how they tell you you're an ignorant nigga. You're an ignorant nigga. The demon is coming out now. You're an ignorant nigga. When the times of refreshing shall come from the presence of the Lord. You know what? You don't even know it's your time. You don't even know that's your time to repent and get yourself right. Because the white man has teach you Christianity. Then you're thinking that you know Christ. You don't know nothing about Christ. You think your old hair means something. Your old hair don't mean nothing here, brother. You have to learn how to repent. Praise what is the word repent is? You are. You are the you Lord, Mr. Fubba. Do you want the mic? Praise you the Lord, Mr. Fubba. Do you want the mic? Yeah. Answer this question. No, no, no. Yeah, give me the mic. Then I'm going to give you the mic. Give me the mic. If you can answer that question, what's the word we pay Give me the mic. No, I'll tell you answer my question. I'll give you the mic. What's the question? Your, my question, what is the word we pay to do? Repent means to turn away turn from away your from sin. What? From your sin. What sin? Now give me the mic. What sin? What sin? The sin that you might commit to, most, to the most high God. Sin you might commit. The sin that you already know. Give me the mic, Jesus. <laughs> give me the mic in the name of Jesus. You see, your spirit already confirmed we from no, Christ. No, no, no. You want to hold your You are anti-Christ. You want to hold your tongue. Brother man, you don't know me. You, 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 you think you're in the mic, you lie. 
But you, you have said. not explained it to me what it means. You, you have not explained it to me what it means. Turn away. No. But where sin no. come from, you're brother? Liar, man. Where sin come from, brother? You are you're a liar, man. You a you a you a perpetrating liar. All right, go ahead. Yeah, read about repenting one more time. Acts chapter three, verse nineteen. Repent, Repent ye therefore, and be converted. Repent, come with converted. You understand? That means you have to change your way of life. Let me give you the I'm going to give it back to the young man. You understand? Did, did, did I'm going to give it back to the young he man. He said he was more than the mic. Because right you, did, you did not answer my question. Brother man, talk to the hand, bro. Man. Brother, you said you was a prophet. What is the job? He asked, what is the job of the prophet? First, what is the job I of the prophet? Told you that. Hold tight. Before you contend with me, right? Let me give my testimony without the mic. I don't need the mic. I was a drug addict and drug dealer for 18 years, okay? Let yeah. me finish. Ezekiel, Brother, you chapter finish. 3, verse 17. God delivered me from shooting dope. Son of man, I have made thee a watchman. 1988. He has made us watchmen. He's made the true prophets watchmen to oversee. Read. Unto the house of Israel. The house of Israel, the 12 tribes. He has made us watchmen over the house of Israel. Read. Therefore, Hear the word at my mouth man. and 18, give them warning. Give them warning. That's what prophets do. Are you giving your people warnings? No. Breathe. Give them warning from me. Uh -huh. you when I say unto the wicked, Thou shalt surely die. And thou givest him not warning, nor speakest to warn the wicked from his wicked way. So we are here to show our people that transgressors. That's what the true prophet do. What is transgressors? Give me that. What is the true prophet? That's what the true prophet do. We are here to show our people their transgressions. Because the transgressors has got you in this situation. Read. First John chapter 3, verse 4. Whosoever committed sin transgresseth also the law. Whoever committed sin transgresses the law. So if you do for anything opposite of what the Most High God commands you to do, you are in the midst of sin. Right. And those sins is what got us in captivity today, in slavery. I'm Eldon Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.